Hey everyone, what's up? This is Simon from the Ionic Academy with a new quick win on how to open PDF files or in general documents inside your Ionic 4 application on both iOS and Android. So we had a quick win on this for version 3 uh, which used a plugin that on iOS worked perfectly and we will use it for iOS again because it's quite nice. But on Android, this uh, Cordova plugin tries to use a specific app and if the app is not installed, you will be guided to the App Store and have to download that app, which is not cool. So we will implement the behavior for Android um, so we can also always open PDF files without that app. So let's do this. I've already started the app, uh, currently a blank new Ionic app using the beta of version 4 and also I run a few scripts um, to install all the packages because this takes quite some time. So let's go through this. Um, we got the Ionic native file uh, plugin because we need to copy files from our own assets folder later to the app folder. Uh, we need the file opener which is more or less the fallback for Android. Um, we could also use this for iOS actually um, but the document viewer that we used in version 3 of this video is actually a bit nicer for iOS. And then we also use the file transfer to download a PDF because sometimes you don't have the file um, shipped with your app and you need to download it. So we will download it and then display it. And of course, if you want to uh, use your app, you also need all the Cordova plugins. So add all of them to your app. Um, what I did as well is I added this PDF file to the assets folder. Um, so take whatever PDF you got and copy it into the assets folder so you can follow along. So now we can move on to our app module and inside here uh, we need to we need to import everything that we installed previously. So again file, file opener, file transfer and document viewer and then we go to the array of imports and add file file opener uh, file transfer and then the document viewer so then everything is prepared for our app um, also this app has a very hard ui that we need to implement um, so um, that's basically everything we need um, i will just copy it in we only need those two functions uh, and we will focus on them for the rest of this video. So let's implement open local PDF. And then we also got download and open. And of course the page needs a constructor. So let's do this. Oh, nice shortcut. I like it. So what we need in here is first of all the platform because we need to make a few um, changes for iOS and Android, the behavior is a bit different, so we need a way to find out on which platform we are running. Then we need everything that we just installed, which means we need file, we need um, private file transfer, transfer, uh, we need private file opener, file opener, and maybe let's use a new line. Um, then we need the document viewer, so document viewer. And then we got everything. So file open and of course my imports are not ready. Um, this should be like this and the file transfer also. All right, now we got everything again. So with Ionic 4 and Ionic Native 5, we have to append ngx at the end. Um, and also we previously installed everything with add beta. So if you're going through this quick win at a later point, it might be that you don't have to use beta anymore. Um, just check out if Ionic Native and Ionic 4 is out of beta yet. All right, so to open our local PDF file, um, we need to first of all construct the path and actually uh, for iOS, this previously worked without anything else, so uh, we could simply open it with assets and blah blah blah, uh, whatever file.pdf. And this path worked with the plugin on Ionic 3. I'm not sure why it's not working anymore, but 
uh, no problem. We can simply construct the file path to our local file using this dot file application directory, which is the application uh, or the directory where the actual application is installed. So application directory plus www assets. So that's the real path to the file we have inside the assets folder right here. Of course, plus uh, name.pdf, but we will get to this in a second. Um, so then we can make this little change if this platform is, and now we can say Android. And on Android, we have to perform uh, some additional stuff. And for iOS, um, we're using the same behavior like we did before. So we can uh, still create some options from document viewer options or from the type document viewer options. And uh, let's just say title my PDF again. And then we go ahead with our document viewer, view document. And now we can use the file path. So file path and then slash five tools dot pdf there we go uh, we need to specify the content type which is in this example application pdf but you could of course also open other types and finally the options we have specified before and that's it so this part is the same for uh, ionic 3 as well and for android um, as I said, this plugin would guide you to the App Store to download um, a tool, which is not super cool behavior. So let's do this a bit differently. We first of all create a new fake name for our file. Because what we're going to do is we will take the file from this path, which is inside our app, and copy it to um, another location inside our Android file system. And from there, we can actually uh, use the native URL, URL and then open it using the file opener, there it is, plugin that we installed previously. So um, we could also use this, of course, for iOS, then we don't need any special case here. Um, but the file opener is a bit limited, so the document viewer is actually even cooler on iOS. So let's go ahead and copy our file. So we use file, copy file, and then we need to specify the path, which is the file path that we defined before. The actual name, which is again, uh, five tools.pdf. In your case, of course, the name is different. Then we need the new path, which is this uh, file data directory. So where to put app specific files. And then finally, the new name, uh, and here comes the fake name that we used. So fake name dot PDF in my case, um, perhaps you need to find out uh, the ending before or use something differently in here. And then we get back the result. No, it's just one result and I'll bring this up. I think somewhere down here is my image and I got some bad comments. Uh, that I was blocking the code with my image, so sorry about that. I should move a box over here anyhow. Um, okay, so the file is copied to the new location and then we can use the file opener to open the result dot native URL. So that's the result from the copy operation, which gives us the path to the new file. Um, you can then also add some then or catch block um but for now expected two arguments yes because we need the type in here again so this is the little change that we need for android to make it work um, i tried different things so the file path directly to the file opener but nothing really worked like copying it into the data directory and then using it I'm not 100% sure. I think the file opener cannot access this folder on Android. Um, if you have seen a different behavior, just let me know and I will correct it inside the written version, which is down below this video. Okay, everything is fine so far for open local and we will see it on the device in a second. Let's move on to the download and I'll just 
bring in the download URL for one PDF that I hosted uh, from another blog. And then um, the path for this file, uh, where we will move the file, will be this start file, again, data directory. So you can find the path to those directories using the file plugin, which is pretty cool, I think. And then we use the const transfer, this file transfer create to uh, download a new file. You can also use an HTTP GET request, but due to course errors and cross origin problems, um, it's easier to use the transfer or the native HTTP client, another package that you could use to download files. Um, if you have implemented course on your server, you could also use HTTP GET with a response type of blob and then save the data to a file. That would work as well, but we will, for simplicity, just use the transfer plugin. Okay, enough said. So go ahead with transfer.download to download a new file. And then we use the download URL that I specified. And the path is, maybe we do it like this path and then um, my file.pdf or whatever. Um, have we, I don't know if we need another slash in here. Hmm, interesting. I think it should work like this, hopefully, maybe. So then we get back the entry uh, of the file once it is downloaded. And again, we can use our platform switch. Let's make it other this time um, is iOS. So for iOS, we can again use the document viewer. There are not really any problems. Um, the only thing we need to take care of is um, using the right URL. And the URL comes from the entry that we get back so if you inspect it um, normally, we should get some code completion here. Mm. Normally we should get code completion here. Uh, no, we actually only get back a promise of the type any. I thought we would get back mm, something well, anyway, it's a file entry object, so we can use to URL, uh, which will give us the URL um, to the downloaded file. And for Android, now we don't need to um, perform this copy function. We can directly use the file opener to use the URL and again, application PDF. So no options in here, uh, just like this. So uh, on Android, we will always use the file opener if we download it or if we open a local file. And on Android, on iOS, we will always use the document viewer because the view is just nicer. Um, again, you can get rid of this and just say we will always use the file opener, no problems. Then uh, you don't need any switch between iOS or Android in general. I think um, copy should also work if you would just want to keep it for iOS as well, no problem. Um, maybe just takes half a second longer or depending on how big your PDF is. All right, um, let's see if everything works. So I need to run the code on the real device. This is not working inside the browser because we're using Cordova plugins. So let's see. All right, so here's the app on my iOS device and let's go ahead with open local PDF. And we see the PDF is open, um, the done button is there. And the UI is not that good, so let's use the download example because in here we see uh, why I like the document viewer. We got the little images um, at the bottom, so pretty nice. At the top you can change things, uh, you get a menu. So all of these options that you don't normally have with a plain viewer. So that's the result of our application on iOS. On Android, it will look a bit different. And one last thing I wanted to tell you is, um, please close simulator, go away. Um, if you're adding the Android platform, uh, I had a little problem because Android 7 uh, Cordova was not working. So I was using 6.4. Um, so you can simply add the platform like this. 
Um, and then if you also get more errors once you build the app, so Ionic Cordova build Android, which I'm pretty sure, I don't know if we get them now uh, that quick. The problem is um, with some SDK versions and Cordova plugins that we are using. And one of the fixes for the problem is to go into the platforms Android folder and open the build Gradle. So uh, nothing really cool because normally that folder is not even under version control and perhaps your team have to do it. But um, if you want to get rid of the build error and you finally want to build your APK, simply insert this configurations all block, um, which will force to use a specific support library. Um, and that should help you to overcome a problem. Maybe we can even see it uh, because the iOS, uh, no, the Ionic build has finished and our Cordova build Android is running, but it will at some point fail with error, whatever, AAPT not found or something like this. Um, and you can end it or you can insert it once in here. Um, it will not be overwritten. Um, build successful. Mm, I don't think so. Um, but if your teammates are using the project as well and they run Cordova platform at Android or remove and edit, then it will be gone. So um, they should also append this or simply use it on your build server. And now I don't know why we don't get the error, but uh, it always comes when you don't need it. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel and also check out the ionicacademy.com, which is the place where this quick win is hosted. Um, so you can get a membership and learn Ionic with video courses, projects, and the great community that supports you. So I love to see you inside and of course, inside this channel. So have a great day and take care.